It's JC Klein, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. I'm here with Freaking Reviews. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this place today? sure seems familiar. <laughs> it sure does. How are you today? I'm doing great. <laughs> great. I traveled all the way over here to be in this kitchen with you. How long did it take you? <laughs> it was almost instant, it seemed like. <laughs> so you're in this video because I was on your channel? Yeah, we decided to trade videos. She's in my video, so I'd do a video with you. Yes. So I assume most of you will come over here after watching his video. So, so welcome back, everybody. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Today, we are reviewing Turkish treats, also known as Turkish munchies. And this is a snack box. There's about, I don't know how many snacks in here, but there's a lot of snacks in here. What are your thoughts? I think we should crack it open, take a look. I agree. And that is what it looks like. And the vac, it's not bad either. <laughs> yeah. What are, what's your opinion of the box? It's a very outer spacey looking box. It's yes, like very outer space galaxy. theme with some creature eating eating a snack. I agree. Yeah. I really like it. I think it's very cute. I like the colors. They really pop out at you and it's quite galaxy themed. I'm not sure what that has to do with Turkish munchies, <laughs> but we'll find out, I guess. Yes, we will. Okay, nice. we got some uh, some paperwork here. All the information, oh, there's a lot in here. Oh, wow, look at all this. That's a lot of different snacks. Oh my snacks. goodness. We've had all those. Can you do a quick count for me and, and see all how those? many snacks are in there? 40, if I'm counting 40 right? 40 snacks, about approximately 40 snacks within this box. And we're gonna get through all 40 snacks in about two minutes. Yes, <laughs> yes, we're gonna try. Also, you can find this box, I believe, on Amazon, yeah, if I think you're Amazon, interested. Yeah. yeah, just search Turkish treats and stuff. A little advertisement here. Mm -hmm. um, nutrition information, look at all that, whoa. Whoa. Oh, look, is there something called the Cat Cat Tat? That sounds like Kit Kat. And we're gonna eat all of them right now. Eat the entire box. <laughs> right right now, all for you guys. You know, it comes with this fancy kind of hint guide here. It tells you what everything is. You know what I think we should do? I think we should just not even use this. Let's just see if we can figure out what everything is first and then we'll look it up at the end. Yes, all right? like so, a game. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll check that back with this one later. Yeah. So we just start grabbing stuff yes. and tasting it? Yes, all right. I'm gonna open this first. Okay, everyone, this is called the Cracks. We're gonna go ahead and open this. Okay. You grab one and I grab one. Thank you. All right, let's see. Kind of looks like a pretzel. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hmm. Mm. That's an interesting flavor. It is an interesting flavor. At first it tasted like cheese, but it does have a pretzel-like consistency to it, and it's very hard like one as well. And it looks like there's salt on it, but there's actually not. It's like a cheesy pretzel. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. You like it? Not mm -hmm. bad. Yeah, not bad. They show peppers on the on the bag, but it doesn't real taste real peppery to me. Mm-mm. I agree. Pizza cracker or with a K. Pizza cracker. I'm pretty sure it's this cracker. Okay. We only have about 38 more to go. <laughs> they kind of look like uh, like those oyster crackers you put in soup. Three you know what this looks like? This looks like a spinner, like maybe a fidget spinner or something. It's a fidget spinner oyster cracker. All right down the hatch. Yes. I didn't taste any pizza at all, to be honest. Not really. I mean, I, I guess I tasted a very mild pizza flavor, but mm -hmm. it's pretty mild. Next up, let's do the Biscolata Nirvana Roll. Oh no. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's very wet. It looks like it may have melted a little bit in, in the transit or something. Yes. Let's see, because it's, so? it's a bit wet looking. Oh, interesting. Guys, oh, or if you crack it open, it's, it's kind hollow. of hollow yeah. inside. Yeah. I think uh, white chocolate. Right, I had to eat it first. We're fine. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Very vanilla-y. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. In my opinion, I will say, I think there's a little too much white chocolate on there. It's too much of uh, the outer stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good though, but it takes away a little bit from the inside. It's really good though. The, the initial bite is really good. Mm -hmm. I'll just pull something random out of here. How about brownie gold? Brownie gold. Brownie gold. Oh, it's oh. a brownie. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's just a brownie. It is a brownie. Cheers. Cheers. It's kind of generic brownie It's kind of like your standard brownie you would buy in packaging. Maybe yeah. a, a tiny bit of like almost cinnamon in, in the back end of that. Mm -hmm. Almost a little bit of cinnamon flavor too. Yeah, it. it was good. You know, I'd have it again. Not bad. I mean, I wouldn't be my first choice, but it's not bad. Next up, the crispy turtikili. <laughs> turtikili? Yes. Very crackerish. Yes. All right, I'll take one. Very cheddary looking. Yes. Smells cheddary. The mud. Mmm. Mmm. The smell and the initial taste of this 
tastes like a, a cheddar Pringle, but then it changes. It doesn't stay like that the entire time, in my opinion. It kind of tastes like I thought it was going to, going to based on the smell, but then there is a little bit of a back in there that kind of it kind of meanders through a few different t flavors. It's weird. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Do you mm. like it? I do. I do. I think I like it. I don't hate it. I'd right. grab those and polish them off in front of the TV. <laughs> Balik cracker. Mm. I apologize. That's not pronounced properly. I apologize too if I was pronouncing something. And then wrong. there's I can't read anything else on there. It's, oh, it has the word vlogger on the front. Oh, interesting. It says vlogger. That's very interesting. It, it must mean something different and not just like Maybe. oh a vlogger. I don't know. Oops. Oopsies. Oh, that's so cool. These are like fish. Shaped. They're like they're like goldfishies. Yeah, they're fish shaped. Goldfishes. Yeah. You didn't wait for me. Sorry. <laughs> you didn't wait for me. I'll try mine now. Okay. Ooh ooh. I don't taste anything. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> I put it in my mouth. I don't taste there's anything. There's not. There's no taste. Mm -mm. It's like a unflavored cracker. I've never tasted something quite. Like it is kind of like an like I said oyster cracker earlier. It's kind of like an like oyster cracker. There really isn't. Much. It'd be good like in soup or something. I think so too. There's a bit of a taste there, but I can't even describe what it is. It's a slight cracker it's taste. Like a, if it's I like say. a very mild cracker. Slight taste. toasted cracker taste. Yes. Yeah, but very slight. Next one. Let's try this one. It's the Sin Portugal Sauslu Biscuvi. Why are you even trying to pronounce it? <laughs> I know. Should be we find the video. I think it's Sin. Or kin. <laughs> I don't know how the C's are pronounced in Turkish. Me neither. Please excuse us. All Looks right. It's like a cookie with some chocolate sprinkles. Oh, there's something gooey inside. I think there. it's caramel. <laughs> oh wow! Just got demolished. Here, how about you take a bite? I'll from take that. a bite of it. Yeah. Wow, that did not hold up very well. No. Very chewy. Mm-hmm. It's very chewy. It keeps you chewing for quite quite it's some chewy. time, but it's very good. It's funny, those chocolate sprinkles aren't even really that prominent. I don't really taste those as much as everything mm -hmm. else. Next up, we have Harby. Harby. Harby Caramelli. Sort. That's got to be a caramel chocolate. Yeah. Or do you say caramel? I've always said caramel, everybody. <laughs> neither is really a incorrect mispronunciation, though. I did some research. So do you say good. neither or neither? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now. Oh, very interesting. Oh, very, very attractive. Very attractive. Very yes. attractive. It kind of looks like a giant Twix. Oh, gosh. Maybe we should just. It looks like a giant Twix. It's, it's not. It's kind of stuck in the packaging. So I'll just kind of pull a little bit out of here. Yes. It reminds me of a Twix. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah. I just drop some. Mm -hmm. Kind of tastes like a Twix, too. It tastes like a Twix, too. Mm -hmm. It's good. I like it. Yeah. That might be my favorite thing we tried so far. It's a, it's a Twix. Mm -hmm. La Viva. La Viva. I think. This looks like some high end chocolate. Yes, like it almost looks like dove chocolate. It does look like a dove chocolate. Mm -hmm. There's the, uh, the chocolate itself. Oh, look at that um, shape. That's a very it's interesting, interesting shape. shape. Yeah. Oh, I just broke it. That's oh, okay. Here, there's your half. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Cheers. Cheers. Kind of tastes like truffle a little bit. To me, that there's some like those dip biscottis, the black, the chocolate ones. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it tastes like to me because it has a little bit of a crunch inside of it. Mm -hmm. This is called the crepe gaufrette, I believe. Ah, it kind of has like a wafer. It's like an apple pie almost. Yeah, it's it like a McDonald's does, apple pie. It does look like that. It's very light. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. A go. There might be hazelnut in there. It's really good and it's very light. Very light, very flaky. Yeah, very flaky. It's very flaky. Yes, expect and in a good get, way. Yeah, expect to get crumbs on you. Yeah. <laughs> Dunkek potty. <laughs> it looks like a like a fruit bread or something. Yeah. Here we go. It, oh, that looks good. That looks like a pumpkin pie loaf like, or something. Like a banana nut bread or something. That too. Looks good. Thank you. Not the flavor you would expect. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Next, let's do the crispy cubic cracker. Cracker. There it is. It kind of looks like a breadstick. But it has like this dill or something on there. Let's see. Very. They have a lot of stick-like snacks. They a lot do. Of stick snacks. Yes. Ready? Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Very interesting flavor. It kind of gives me a salad seasoning flavor. A bit. Yeah, almost like a crouton flavor. Mm -hmm. Like a kind of like a dill, a dill snack stick. Yes. A yeah. dill stick. A dill stick. 
Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not actually, bad. I would actually polish these off too. Yeah. No. I agree. Speaking of sticks, might as well keep going. Mm -hmm. What's the next stick? Look at the pretzels. Cubic cracker. Like pretzel sticks. Yeah, pretzel sticks. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I like these. Mmm. It's like a thinner version of a pretzel. What's it's more like a cracker taste than a pretzel. With no taste. salt. It's yeah. like an unsalted cracker in the shape of a pretzel. Very mm -hmm. interesting. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. This one I, I, I would eat. This one is a little bit bland for me. I would eat those, but yeah. yes, I agree that it's definitely the less seasoned form. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. We're going to stop right here and we're going to finish the rest of this in part two. So please, if you're interested, tune into that. Thank you so See much. See you then. Bye.